South Carolina Republican Senator Lindsey Graham joins us from Clemson, South Carolina this morning. Good morning to you, Senator. Good morning. Uh, as you know, uh, coming up on this program, Congressman uh, Jim Clyburn, he has said repeatedly in interviews that South Carolina Federal District Judge <coughs> Michelle Childs, not only as someone he likes, but that both South Carolina Republican senators will support her. So he's talking about you. Did you tell him you're a yes vote on yeah. Childs? Here's what I will tell him in the nation. I, I can't think of a better person uh, for uh, President Biden to consider for the Supreme Court than Michelle Childs. She has wide support in our state. She's considered to be a fair-minded, highly uh, gifted uh, jurist. Uh, she's one of the most decent people I've ever met. It would be good for the court to have somebody who's not at Harvard or Yale. She's a graduate of the University of South Carolina, a public education background. She's been a workers' comp judge. She's highly qualified. She's of good character. And we'll see how she does if she's nominated. But I cannot say anything bad about Michelle Child. She is an awesome person. That, that sounds like pretty close to yes. You're a yes vote? <laughs> Well, what, I'm not, I don't know if she's going to be nominated. If she's yeah. nominated, she will not be treated like Judge Kavanaugh, I promise mm -hmm. you, by Republicans. Let's see how she does at the hearing. But I think I made it pretty clear that I'm a big admirer yes, of uh, you did. Judge Childs. And, and I'd like to see the court have a, have a little more balance, some common sense on it. Everybody doesn't have to be from Harvard and Yale. It's yeah. okay to go to a public university and get your law degree. Well, you have been uh, glowing in your descriptions, but your colleague, Senator Roger Wicker of Mississippi, said uh, picking a female black Supreme Court justice is affirmative racial discrimination. He questioned her any potential um, yeah. uh, impartiality from any of the candidates named. Um, Nikki Haley of South Carolina also tweeted yeah. the president should not have a race or gender litmus test. President Reagan promised to nominate a woman, Sandra yeah. Day O'Connor. So why is this different? Well, it's not different to me. Um, put me in the camp of making sure the court and other institutions look like America. You know, we make a real effort as Republicans to recruit women and people of color to make the party look more like America. Affirmative action is picking somebody not as well qualified for past wrongs. Michelle Quali uh, Childs is incredibly qualified. There's no f affirmative action component if you pick her. She is highly qualified. And President Reagan said, running for office, that he wanted to put the first female mm -hmm. on the court. Whether you like it or not, Joe Biden said, I'm going to pick an African-American woman to serve on the Supreme Court. I believe there are plenty of qualified African-American women, conservative and liberal, that could go on to the court. So I don't, concede that, I don't see Michelle Childs as an act of affirmative action. I do see putting a black woman on the court, making the court more like America. In the history of our country, we've only had uh, five women serve mm -hmm. and two African-American men. So let's make the court more like America, but qualifications have to be the, the the biggest consideration. And as to Michelle Childs, I think she's yeah. qualified uh, All right. by every measure. All right, Senator, I, I want to move on to Ukraine. Uh, Senator Menendez, Democrat on another program this morning, said uh, they're nearing bipartisan agreement on a package of sanctions, some of which would put sanctions on Russia now, <laughs> some later. I know you're part of the right. talks. I know you want sanctions now. So what exactly are you right. pushing for? What needs to be hit? Uh, more. More against Russia, more for Ukraine. There's bipartisan support to sanction Russia now. They're dismembering the Ukraine by the invasion. The threat of invasion is 2022, for God's sake. You can't get your way by threatening to invade a country. So punish Putin now. More weapons to the Ukraine now so they can defend themselves. More economic aid to the Ukrainian economy so they can, they can deal with the threat of invasion. Uh, and more troops uh, to NATO. As Putin tries to dismantle NATO and divide NATO, I support President Biden's decision to send more troops in to reinforce NATO. He's trying to destroy a neighboring democracy. He hates democracy, Putin. And I will just say this. 
to, to President Putin, if you invade the Ukraine, you will destroy the ability of future presidents to treat you and Russia as normal. You'll long for the good old days of the Cold War because every president in the future will pound you mm -hmm. and every Congress in the future will pound you if you dismantle this democracy. So be careful what you wish for, my friend. Well, it, it Strong words there. Uh, we know President Biden is already looking at sanctions after an invasion. He's looking at sovereign debt yeah. sales, hitting oligarchs close to Vladimir Putin, the banks that handle critical industries yeah. and, uh, on top of export import restrictions. Yeah. Is this enough or are you saying you're pushing President Biden further? Uh, the bipartisan working group uh, will uh, submit sanctions now. Look what Putin has done. He's, he's On dismantled. what specifically, though? He's hurting want? the... Oh, uh, an array of pre-invasion sanctions. Uh, the uh, Nord Stream 2 pipeline, which is a cash cow for Putin, that'll probably be after the invasion, knocking them out of financial systems that they will need to conduct business normally, the SWIFT program. All of this is on the table, but the we European need to allies hit him now. That. It is 20. Well, uh, the Congress has a different view here. I want sanctions on Putin's behavior now. What is Putin doing? He's threatening, uh, he's wanting to get his way by threatening to invade a country. This is 2022, for God's sake. That's not mm -hmm. the way to resolve disputes. So I think there'll be bipartisan support for sanctions now. There'll be a bipartisan support for more, more lethal aid now to the Ukraine, more economic uh, assistance to the government now. And yeah. I think there's bipartisan support to reinforce NATO. Okay, well, in your version of a bill, what would trigger invasion, right? Because there's an array of options Vladimir Putin's looking at. Does a cyber attack trigger sanctions? Uh, a cyber attack against the United States would be an act of war, mm -hmm. and we shall respond in kind. I am tired of Putin, China, and North Korea attacking us. If they blew up a pipeline, that would be an act of war. Well, if you shut it down through a cyber attack, it's the same outcome. But a cyber so I would attack warn in Ukraine. My Russian uh, friends. Yeah, well, any any attack on the sovereignty of a nation, any mm -hmm. attack on their critical infrastructure, any attack on their ability to do business. But he needs to be sanctioned now. What has he done? He's using the threat yeah. of force of arms to get his way. That should be outlawed in 2022. Listen, I want to support President Biden to to the full extent possible. But okay. the Congress is ready to sanction Putin now. But there'll be more sanctions come if he invades. And I will end with this point. If you invade the Ukraine, if Russia invades the Ukraine, no future president, no future Congress will yeah. give you a pass. It will change the relationship forever. Uh, Senator, uh, more than 730 people have been charged by the Justice Department for their role in the attack on the Capitol on January 6th to stop the certification right. of our election. Last night, President Trump at a rally said this. If I run and if I win, we will treat those people from January 6th fairly. And if it requires pardons, we will give them pardons because they are being treated so unfairly. Pardons? Do you agree? Hmm, yeah. Uh, no, I don't want to send any signal uh, that it was okay to defile the Capitol. There are other groups with causes that may want to go down the violent path if these people get pardoned. But isn't that a like dangerous thing Kamala to say? Harris yeah, well, I think it's inappropriate. I, I don't want to reinforce that defiling the Capitol was okay. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do anything that would make this more likely in the future. And just let me finish my thought here. When Kamala Harris and her uh, associates and the people that work for her, her staffers, raise money to bail out the rioters who uh, hit cops in the head and burned down stores, I didn't like that either. So I don't want to do anything from raising bail to pardoning people who take the law in their own hands because it will make more violence more likely. I want to deter people who did what they, on yes. January the 6th and those who did it, I hope they go to jail and get the book thrown at them because they deserve it. That was clear. Uh, Senator, before I let you go, I want to ask you, um, the district attorney in Georgia has in Fulton County has gotten clearance to set up a grand jury to investigate President Trump. She says she wants to talk to you about that phone call you made to Georgia's secretary of state um, 10 days after the election. Are you going to cooperate? Yeah, give me a call. Yeah, I talk, ask about how the system worked when it came to mail and uh, uh, balloting. The January 6th committee 
uh, was not the 9-11 committee. After 9-11, we came together. We formed a bipartisan right. committee yeah. after the next election. I, I was talking so about what's Georgia, going on though. in Georgia in January? Yeah. The, yeah, I know, but there's an effort here to use the law, uh, I think, inappropriately. So I don't know what they're going to do in Fulton County. I don't know what the January 6th committee is going to do. I expect those who defile the Capitol to be prosecuted. But there's a political movement using the law to try to knock Trump out of running. And I particularly mm -hmm. don't like it or appreciate it. Okay. Senator, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. <laughs>